It's been a tumultuous year for the long-awaited, highly anticipated National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. After hosting a number of advisory meetings, the inquiry announced it would begin hearings in May 2017, but there was growing impatience. I get that there's a lot of background work that needs to be done, but we still need to, you know, take care of the families out there. A coalition in Manitoba was already raising concerns over a lack of transparency that was leaving families in the dark. Hearings had not even started and there were calls for a boycott. It's the ongoing problems. It's the ongoing presentations of these problematic behaviors. The fact that we have consistently voiced our concerns and that it's falling on deaf ears. At the end of May, hearings kicked off in Whitehorse, but shortly after, the resignation started, including one of the five commissioners, Marilyn Poitras. That came as a shock. By the end of the year, more than 20 people were no longer working with the National Inquiry. Hearings were also being postponed, but the inquiry pushed on as calls for a reset grew louder. In November, the commissioners released an interim report. It included 10 recommendations, including the creation of a national police task force. We believe that the appropriate authority to hear this evidence needs to be created immediately. Many families and indigenous communities do not trust the institutions that are currently in place. There was talk for the need of an extension to the two-year mandate and blame was placed on the government for challenges the inquiry was facing. We have faced several obstacles from a bureaucratic and procedural and policy perspective in getting our national inquiry up and running and mobilized all across Canada. Uh, we continue uh, pretty much daily to speak to government about new options, new ways of doing things. Things came to a head in December at the AFN Special Assembly. And, and you're standing here giving us a report hoping that will support an extension of the work that we don't understand and that doesn't belong to you. Uh, we need to see you resign, unfortunately, and I know that yeah. more women yeah believe that all of you should resign. That but way. for me personally, it's, it's you. We saw a, a commission that is falling apart and is not, is not doing the work that, what, that the women and children and men fought for. And I'm sorry to say that, but I'm, I think you have to go. No request for an extension ever came. The inquiry is expected to resume hearings in Yellowknife on January 23rd.